My name's Tom Raffield and I design and make furniture out of wood and I specialise in the process of steam bending uh, to create my pieces. I came down to Cornwall uh, to start a course at the Falmouth College of Arts uh, probably about eight or nine years ago now and I enrolled myself on the 3D design for sustainability course um, and I'd never actually worked with wood uh, at the time and it was I think it was in my third year where I started uh, messing around with wood and I found the process of steam bending. So all of the products I make are made out of steam bent wood um, and the woods most of it's locally sourced so I would initially go and speak to one of the foresters and I would source a tree that was suitable for steam bending and I'd get it planked up and then I would take it back and I would steam sections around the various bending formers or jigs I'd allow the wood to dry and then I would assemble uh, products. This process of steam bending means you're not using toxic glues um, you're not having high levels of wastage or anything else, you're literally just using the steam, like the steam you get from a boiling kettle. I, I think that whole relationship with wood is the, the main reason that I, I sort of fell in love with the process of steam bending. I think it's why I love working with so much because every piece of wood is different and especially with steam bending, if you don't pick the, the right piece for the job, um, then the wood's going to split. You have to make sure that the wood is, is straight grained and not free or at least the knots are in, uh, well not in the places where the, the, the really tight bend is going to be. Um, but most of all it's, you know, it's, a, it's a natural material. It just, every piece is different. I can't quite explain it but when you, finish, when you finish a piece, when you've sanded it and when you're rubbing the oils and the wax in, you know, there's something that's immensely satisfying about it. Um, and, and uh, you know, you, to know that came from a tree and to know that I went and sort of selected that tree and you know I've got another sort of hundred pieces of wood from that tree and each bit of wood's going to be slightly different depending on where it was cut from. It's a great process, it really is and I think that's a, a large part of why I'll never be bored working with wood. <laughs>